Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is actually um, a Sunday. Usually I would never start vlogging on a Sunday because not gonna lie, usually a Sunday is a horsey day and I'm usually out competing somewhere or doing something but today um, is not the case. I'm having a Sunday just a little bit more chilled and for me which is lovely so yeah this morning i we both had a very slow morning we um watched a bit of netflix in bed had some breakfast but today we are heading to i can't remember what it's called i'll give you a proper update when um when we're in the car on our way but um we're going to it's basically i think it's the biggest antiques place in europe I might have got that wrong. I'll give you more of an update when we're in the car, but I'm wanting to go because there's a few things, um, there's a couple of things really that I'm looking for for the house. And I loved going to the antique centre that's a bit more local to us so much. They had so many like great little finds. You really do have to look though when you go. Um, so my friend told me about this one. I said, oh, you should try there. It's really good. I really want a little side table like this one. Let me show you this one. So I got this one. It's like a tripod style side table. It's so gorgeous from our local antique centre. But I, I basically want a copy and paste of that. But I need the top of it to be bigger. I need um, I need it for in like the kitchen, the open plan room at the back. Because I've got a really amazing big vase from Hudson Home with all like faux um, foliage in there. And I want it to sit on top of the table. But this one's too small. This one... Um, stays upstairs so that's what i'm looking for and then also it's just nice to have a little mooch around isn't it so that is the plan i did quickly wash my hair just now and i couldn't really be bothered to do anything so i've kind of left it with a bit of a natural wave i can't believe how long it's looking i know i've got extensions in um but i don't have extensions any longer than my natural hair i always have the extensions cut to my length of hair because i purely like them for a bit of thickness but i really can't believe how long my hair has got. I feel like this is how I used to do my hair. I haven't had my hair like this for ages. I am wearing my new dress from Cos that I got recently in a recent haul if you haven't seen that but the weather is classic UK weather. I think I'm gonna need a blazer so I'm gonna team it with my grey blazer. There we go and then a bit of perfume. I'm gonna use a bit of my Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. And then I think it's going to be a Fendi bag kind of day. So that's me already. So I'm going to go and get into the car and we'll be on our way. We are on our way to, and now I can actually tell you where we're going because <laughs> I looked on Google. I forgot the name of it. It's uh, Hemswell Antiques. It's in Gainsborough. And I was right. I wasn't making it up earlier. It is the largest antique centre in Europe. And something else that I found out, which is, what is in the back of this car? Oh my god, why is there so much rubbish in the back? What's going on? To be fair, we did do a tip run, so excuse the mess in the back there. One thing I did find out about this place um, is this year, back in, was it March? Yeah, back in March, Johnny Depp casually just got helicoptered into Hemswell Antiques and bought a load of stuff. Apparently, <laughs> I was reading the article, I was very nosy. I was like, what did Johnny Depp buy from Hemswell Antiques? So he purchased many quirky items as well as some pieces of furniture for his own home. He also purchased some great guitars where we have a huge collection. So Andy is with me. So Andy, for those of you who don't know, Andy plays, can play guitar, has a few. So he's looking forward to seeing a few of the antique guitars they've got. And he just says, we were all very shocked as we didn't know he was coming. Can you imagine just being at work on a Friday afternoon, just in, in your little, you know, you, actually I say little, it's the biggest. I'm expecting quite a big, a big shindig that we're going to here. But imagine just being on your shift in your antique center and in strolls Johnny Depp. I mean, I've read the article and it does say that they closed the premises like when he arrived. So he had the place to himself. He wasn't just literally strolling around with the public, obviously. But um, yeah, also it says that he was very nice. He was very natural down to earth. He had photos with the staff. I love that. So we go into um, Johnny Depp's antiques place. So if it's good enough for him, 
I'm sure we can find a few nice goodies for our house. Sorry, I've been trying to hold hold the camera still because it's a bit um a bit windy windy around here. It's felt so cozy though driving to this place because it's just started raining. Um, it's it's really starting to feel like autumn, and I know we shouldn't wish the end of summer away, but it does get me excited. What's the price tag? No, it's not. Wow. I'm actually obsessed with these mirrors. How gorgeous are they? Also love these vintage gold candlesticks. I think they're gorgeous. This mirror is just unreal. They've also got the most gorgeous vintage rings but the only thing that i can that i think of when i look at these the size of the rings are so tiny i think women's hands used to be much smaller because my fingers would not be able to fit in here but i do love I love these rings this um drinks tray it's nice isn't it yeah. i know i'm still not over the louis vuitton trunk but We'll not be taking that home. The World War II pilot's jacket. Just about to say, oh, look at that rocking horse, but it has the scariest face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is not something that I'd want to sit a child on, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I think, they, I think this horse might need to go to the vet. They've made a statue of you jumping into the swimming pool here. What? Oh, you are actually horrible. <laughs> is that me? <laughs> She's got lovely long legs. Look at these like fashion prints and the old catwalks. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Mm. If I had a really, really huge dressing room, I'd have some of these around there. Well, I think those two gold frames would look so nice in our kitchen, just stacked one on top of the other. Andy's not convinced, but you don't like that style? No. You having fun? In the uh, kids section of the antique shop. Honestly, you just don't know which direction to look in first because there's so much to see. But I really love the layout here. Everything's really um, accessible and quite easy. But you could spend hours in here just looking around. but unfortunately it's a little bit small on the top but that is literally what I'm looking for I just need it to be a little bit bigger but I'm hopeful now I've seen that I really love these like vintagey looking candlesticks imagine having these out on the table at Christmas time these are nice pictures I love I know these who this is. I know who this is. oh look at this like day of the races that's so nice this is a guy called Fabian something Fabian. yeah Fabian Perez do you know him yeah is he your mate no, mm -hmm. I know him though. We've got these gold candelabras. Oh, so gorgeous. I love this so much. Well, I almost thought I'd found my table, but I'm just not keen on this design on the top. I just wish I just wish it was round instead, but 
I'm gonna keep looking. They do have this one, but that's just a little bit too big, unfortunately. So yeah, on with the search for the table. Look at these cool deck chairs. How lovely are these? I love them. You know what this is? So nice. You know An is? abacus. Yeah. It's what you'd learn to count and do your maths on. Probably back when you were at school, Andy. Well, we're the same age. <laughs> I like the, the lemons and the oranges. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We've spotted a table. That looks like it might be the exact same size as our other one. That's so lovely. Maybe I'll have one in my office. Vintage hand-painted steamer trunk. Yeah, that's definitely something you'd see in Sid's house in Toy Story. If you know someone that's really into their music and into their vinyls, this is definitely the place to bring them. Stopped off for a little cup of tea, Victoria sponge cake break. Andy had lemon drizzle, had lemon drizzle, now all gone. And then we're gonna carry on having a little look around. Well, we are now back home and just having an hour, chilling on the sofa in the newly decorated kitchen, if you can hear panting. Oh, <laughs> caught ya. Of course, we have the fluffer puppers up here with me as well. It was actually really nice going around that um, antique centre. It's, it's basically set out over like four separate buildings. You could honestly spend hours there. They had some really, really nice bits. Um, I didn't actually end up finding a table. I did, but it was just a little bit out of our, a little bit out of my price range of what I was willing to spend, to be honest. And um, so yeah, I decided to leave it because I feel like I could find, um, and I wasn't actually in love with it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I don't want to buy things for the house unless I am totally in love. So. Didn't end up getting a table, unfortunately. I did end up picking up some gorgeous gold candlesticks. I think I showed you them when I was looking around. But, um, but anyway, as I said, we're having an hour on the sofa just to chill. And then we are going for a walk to the pub and we'll be having a nice, nice roast dinner because we were going to make one. And then, to be honest, we're all tired out after walking around, um, around there. As I said, it's set out over four buildings, so... There's so much to see and take in that, yeah, when we were on our way home, we were just like, you know what? We're not cooking. Let's go out for a nice roast dinner. So that is the plan. I am just chilling and I'm also doing a little bit of online shopping. I've got a lunch that I'm going to this week and I'd quite like to wear, wear something new for it, but I don't know. I'm just having a, a little browse. I don't know if I'll end up buying anything. Good morning, guys. I am... <laughs> Just in my dressing room, getting ready. I've had a lovely dressage lesson with Flicker this morning. And then I have come home, had some breakfast, had a shower, washed my hair because it got rather sweaty and gross. And now I'm just getting ready for the day. I've got quite a busy um, filming day today. So I've got a few videos to film. I've got a YouTube video I want to film and a couple of reels that I want to get filmed as well. And then, yeah, and then I'm actually out for dinner tonight. I'm actually jumping on a train later this afternoon, heading down to London. I'll tell you more about that later. But anyway, I was just um, doing my makeup and then I thought, actually, I won't do my concealer because I want to show you a new concealer that I've been using and really loving. The rest of my base is pretty much the same as usual. I think I did my makeup a few vlogs ago. Um, it will be in there, but let me know if you do want me to just film a full face of makeup. I know you guys do like to see that still, but uh, this new concealer I've been using, it's brand new from Iconic London. It's their Radiant Brightening, is it that Brightening and Radiant Concealer Duo, I think it's called? What is it called? Radiant Concealer and Brightening Duo. Yep, that's right. So, what it is, it's basically two in one, as the name would suggest. So on one side, you've got this, whoop, focus, this sort of crayon, um, and I will literally go straight in, any lines under my eyes, and I am quite tired today, so this will come in very handy. I'll go straight in, Someone on my drive? Oh no. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. 
I will go straight in with this and then the other side look how cute and diddy that is you literally have ooh, focus there we go a little concealer and then you can go in over the top um, with that for some extra bit of extra coverage extra brightening all the extra goodness I've been really really loving this I did show this on my Instagram stories but I hadn't shown it on the vlog so I thought I would show you guys now so I'm just going to go I've done the rest of my face but I'm just going to go straight in add just like that same again on this side just like that and then you could either blend that in with your finger or the brush this is the um, Iconic London it's their um, concealer duo brush I kind of do whatever I'm feeling I don't prefer one way to the other I'd say I prefer to dab it in with my finger first so I'll just take my ring finger and blend it out a little bit you can see already see how much brighter that has just made that there we go oh one thing I do do which I haven't turned the camera on is I will give my face a quick spritz with the Iconic London prep set and glow I don't always do that but today I needed it my skin was feeling just a little bit dry because I had to go out the shower there we go so that is just using the crayon so you can probably see it's already had that lovely brightening effect I'm just going to blend out those edges just to make sure there's no harshness with the fluffy side of this brush there we go then I'm going to take the other side oh, just the size of this applicator is just so cute and then I'm going to draw on literally like three dots like that no more than that is needed and then what I do like to do with this one is take the um, so on this uh, duo sided brush I'll take the flat end and almost press into the skin I'm not so much smearing you don't want to smear, you want to press it into the skin. And I always think less is more when it comes to concealer. You can always go very wrong very quickly if you add too much concealer. So I'd say always pop on less than, um, less than you think you need. You can always add it in after. Like I was actually starting to think I wasn't going to have enough there. But now that has... Um, now that's blended out, I don't think I need any more than that. That looks good to me. And then just going to go in this side. This concealer as well, it's enriched with caffeine. So it's good for the puffiness, good for any discoloration. I'd say it's medium, maybe medium to full coverage. I'd say medium, um, but definitely buildable. Um, you can definitely layer this up so... For me, this is the perfect concealer for either a no makeup day if you want that coverage, but not necessarily to look like you're wearing makeup, or even if you're doing more of a heavier glam or an evening look, this would work. There we go. Can you see how much brighter my under eyes look? I haven't set that, I've done nothing. On a no makeup day, I would probably leave it and maybe not set it with any powder, but generally day to day, if I'm going to be filming videos and I want my makeup to last a long time and like I'm going out for dinner later I want it to last so I will set it. I'm going to set it with some Huda Beauty powder. This is the shade pound cake. Just taking my little triangle sponge. I just get packs of these from Amazon but they're so handy because you can really get into the corners and yeah I just find them a little bit easier sometimes than a beauty blender there we go so that is one side all set I just think that makes the most gorgeous under eye and it lasts which is what I'm needing and this side there we go and that is both of my under eyes set and ready to go and in the interest of transparency I'm going to bring you right up close Whoop, don't mind me right up close so you can just see the texture you can see it's not creasing under my eyes. It's looking 
It's looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Right, makeup done. So I'm gonna crack on with my filming day. Filming done for the day. It's been a very hot filming day. It's so warm today, I'm not complaining, but I have been filming a video where I've been showing more autumnal looks, so it's not fun when you're shooting in like 24 degree heat wearing leather blazers, Ugg boots, leather boots, jackets, cardigans. But there we go, all in the name of creating content. But as I said, I have finished, I'm gonna pop you on this tripod and I'm just getting ready to head down to London for the for the In The Style event. Let me, um, let me pop you up a minute. There we go, that's a little bit better. So this is what I am wearing. I'm just about to give it a quick steam. I'm wearing this beige, it's like this sleeveless long line blazer. I'll show you it when it's on. But I need to give it a quick steam. And then I also have the trousers to match. The trousers actually fit really nicely. They're like a bit of a flare leg. I was gonna change my hair, but I'm a bit short on time. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to do it. I'm just gonna keep the tucked behind my ears, slick kind of vibe. Plus, as I mentioned, it's so warm today. I really can't be bothered to do like curly hair or put any more heat near my head. This steams really well, to be honest. I was a bit concerned when I got it out of the packet and it was really creased. But you can see I've barely gone over that. And that's one half and the other. It does really well. My train is in about just under an hour. I need to leave in about 10 minutes. It's gonna be a quick turnaround. Luckily, my, um, my makeup has lasted. I'll probably just top my lipstick up when I'm on the train. But yeah, quick turnaround, head down to London. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of work done on the train. But for now, I'm gonna finish doing this and then I will show you what it looks like when it's on. Super quick turnaround. So pleased that my makeup has actually lasted. I really wasn't sure if it's going to. It needs to last a little while longer. It needs to last a very hot train journey and then an event. So this is the outfit on. Really love this long line blazer. Super flattering. I'm wearing the size eight. I will um, link it in the description box. Uh, the whole outfit um, in terms of the blazer and trousers are obviously from In The Style. I believe they're from one of Perry Shan's range with them, one of her collections. Um, and that's what the event is for tonight. So yeah, it should be a fun evening we're heading down to stk i've just teamed it with my black kitten heels from zara just because they're super comfortable for walking and for traveling down in and then i have just teamed it with my little fendi this is the medium size i get asked this quite a lot about this bag so it's the me it, ooh, let me get my words out it's the midi chain baguette and yeah, it's such a great staple. I use it casually during the day. It also looks really nice dressed up like this for a little bit more of an evening look. But anyway, now that I'm all ready to go, I'm gonna go and jump in the car and head to the train station. Good morning, guys. I'm coming to you very fresh faced. I've just got out of the shower, put some lovely moisturizer on. And I'm just about to do my skincare because today I am heading down. I've actually got a really lovely day planned. I'm heading down to Leonora's for her luxury by Leonora event, which will be lovely. Super excited for that. The weather is forecast to be so sunny and warm. It couldn't ask for better weather for this sort of thing, really. I've just been wearing these eye patches for a little while because I've just not been sleeping well recently. I feel like I've been really struggling to get to sleep and then I have to get up early regardless because I've got loads of things to fit into like my morning routine with dogs, horses, everything else. So it's like I'm, I'm not catching up on that sleep in the morning. So I'm slowly burning the candle and I can feel I need one of those nights where I go to sleep at 9pm and I don't wake up till 9am the next day. 
I need one of those sleeps, but I can't see a day in the dark. Maybe Saturday I could do that. Saturday night I could do that. I'm gonna, anyway, I'm doing my skincare routine. I'm using the Ole Henriksen Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. I'm nearly out of this. I've been really enjoying using this. Should have probably taken the eye patches off, but oh well. Oh, they're all slipping off now. Oh no. There we go, I feel like I'm looking like a very dewy disco ball. Oh, that's quite nice actually, putting a little bit of leftover stuff on my shoulders. Pretty nice. I might put a bit of this on my elbow, actually. And that's a point, actually. I had, um, oh my gosh, these eye patches are actually annoying me. I had um, a couple of comments on, was it a TikTok? I think it might have been TikTok. Ask it, basically, people pointing out the horrendous fake tan on my elbow. Usually guys, I would literally don't address anything like this because I think it's so ridiculous, like who cares? But one thing I will just point out, just for future reference in case you guys ever see it, this elbow will never ever look nice. Um, if you don't like scars and things, then just skip forward 10 seconds. But I've got quite a large scar on my elbow. As you can see, it stretches from there, right up to there. It's just from an old horse riding injury when I was like a teenager. Um, but what it means is, Trying to apply fake tan around this area is just a no-go because you've got your usual rough dry skin But the scar is very soft and supple. It's almost like baby skin. So yeah Maneuvering tan around the area never good. It will always look dodgy, but yeah For anyone that does feel the need to point it out. I know I know <laughs> I live with it me and my friends actually have a name that we call this elbow, but it's a bit rude for YouTube so I'll let you just ponder over that, over what we might call that elbow. Anyway, let's take these eye patches off. Also this morning, speaking of horses, one of the hardest things to navigate, I know this is such a first world problem, between owning, riding horses and um, content creating is hair wash days and nail appointments because I never want to get my nails done if I've got a competition that week or you know, in the next couple of days because my nails, I don't want to ruin them and I've just paid to have them done. So what it does mean is usually I get as long as I can out of my nails. So although my nails don't look too bad, I did lose one. She is definitely the ugly sister for today, but it's fine, it's fine, we're gonna live with it. I usually would not like to go to an event with scruffy looking or broken nails, but Leonora's also a horse girl, I'm sure she understands. I've just popped on some of my Murad Environmental Shield Vita C Dark Circle Corrector, this vitamin C for under my eyes, it's lovely. And then for moisturiser, I'm using the Drunk Elephant, the Proteiny Polypeptide Moisturiser. Oh, that's quite a lot actually. I need to bring that down onto my neck a little bit. So, although for today there isn't necessarily a theme, it is um, a summer lunch that we're doing. That we're doing? That I'm going to. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going and eating. But yes, even though there's no official theme on the invite, it was very um, summery, floral. And I am someone that likes to take things like that quite literally. I think things like that usually set the tone for the kind of event that it's going to be. So I, my outfit, I hope, reflects that and it's very summery. I'm just so, so glad that it's going to be a nice day so that I won't feel silly wearing my outfit in the pouring rain. But it's from a brand that I have admired from afar for a while now. I've never, um, I've never had anything from them, but it's been a brand that it just, it crops up and I see stuff from them and I just love it. Again, it's not out of my comfort zone. It bridges the gap between me and outside my comfort zone. So it is florally, florally, floral? My outfit has florals on it, <laughs> which usually would be a no, but because of this type of print that it is and the shape and style of the outfit, it just works and it makes me feel really comfortable. And a lot of their items are like that. They have the most incredible shape. 
I would say they're specifically tailored to taller people. Probably why I like them so much. I am just using some of my Ultra Violet SPF 50. But yeah, the brand is called Bernadette. They're a mother-daughter brand. And they have, honestly, the most incredible dresses, both for, like, occasions, daytime, a holiday dresses. I've just, yeah, as I said, I've loved them for quite a while now, but never actually owned anything from them. So I'm so excited that I'm actually wearing a dress from them for today. I feel like it will go perfectly for the theme slash not theme that I made up in my head theme. I am going to go and pop some makeup on because I don't want to go looking like this. Do my makeup. I'm just going to do my usual makeup, I think. Um, and I think I'm going to have my hair up in a little low bun because the dress has a lot going on in terms of the print. I don't also want my hair down with it. I feel like it'll be too much. I feel like I need to pair it back a little bit. Almost ca make it more casual by having just swept back, low bun, a little bit messy, earrings. Yes, that's my vision. Hopefully it will all come to life and it'll be good. Okay, so I'm all ready. This is the dress I was telling you about from Bernadette. You can actually tuck the straps in and wear it as sort of like a strapless dress, which I think would make it more, I'd say more holiday wear, more holiday appropriate. But I have decided to keep the straps because I quite like square necklines on me. I find them quite flattering. So I've left the little thin straps. I've done hair up because I think as you'll agree, there's a lot going on with the print on the dress. So I didn't want to overpower it and look too OTT. I feel like the little low bun just um, pairs it back slightly. But yeah, you can see it's the most stunning maxi dress. I'm just wearing it with my Castanio wedges from Farfetch. But yeah, I just thought this was so perfect for a summer lunch. I think it will be lovely. It's super comfortable to wear, like ridiculously comfortable. And then bag wise, so the bag I'm using is just my Chloe basket bag again from Farfetch. So yeah, this is my outfit to head down to Leonora's for the Luxury by Leonora event. And yeah, I'm very excited to sit, sit in the sunshine, maybe have a nice glass of wine but yeah what a lovely day in the car ready to go i've got my snacks i've got some flavored water from the way down i've got oh, these are my favorite i've spoken about this before my favorite petrol brother my favorite petrol station pullover snack are uh, is the hobnob oaty flapjack it's got the chocolate on the top oh my gosh Every time I stop by a petrol station, it's so naughty, but I always have to grab one. It's so good. And I've got a lovely drive ahead of me now. I love long drives. I love just having my snacks. I've got my podcast. Oh, just bliss. I really hope no one, when I get there, has to go into my car for anything because I've got a car boot full of horse stuff because tomorrow I am at a one day event competing all day. So it's all go, go, go for the next couple of days. I have also got some, can you see them just in the back there? Oh, you can just see the top of them bobbing around. I got some lovely flowers. There we go, can you see them? Let's show them you. Got some lovely flowers in the back for Leonora as well to say thank you. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to walk okay in this dress with my bag and the camera and the flowers, but let's move that. Let's get my podcast on. Right, which ones have I got to listen to? I really fancy a funny one. Oh, I've got nearly weds. I'll pop that on. That'll do. Sat nav done. Let's head down to Leonora's. So I've arrived at Leonora's house. All of us girlies have just grabbed a quick drink. 
I've had a drink passed to me as I've walked in. The sun is shining. I'm feeling like my dress is very much on theme for today. So we're just having a little catch up, having a quick chat, having a little drink. And then I think the table has been set in here. I'm not gonna go in, but I will, um, I will film it when we go in there in a minute. But yeah, it's just so gorgeous here, honestly. And I'm so glad the weather's been good for it. So I've managed to sneak in to where we'll be sitting down to eat. Just look at that tablescape. Oh my gosh. In the garden, just beautiful. I'll show you a little bit of a closer look when I know where I'm sitting, but oh my God, so stunning. Got a little nibbly bit section. This definitely puts my uh, nibbles to shame when I have people round. When I've just got a packet of the four mix Tex-Mex from, <laughs> from Marks and Spencers. How gorgeous is this? Oh my gosh. I am just dying at the cutest little pups. Just watching their mum have some photos taken. How sweet are they? So I just stole Leonora's videographer, photographer, just <laughs> honestly, just so, so this much. is the official captured by Claudia, who if you have seen any of Leonora's stunning reels and videos, this is the magician behind the lens. I literally just stole her for, I'm talking like 30 I seconds. I just to film this oh, address, well, it's just insane, you need to see what oh, she's looking like. Thank oh my you. gosh. So, <laughs> Leonora, I, like I need to get in here. Whatever's I happening here, I, I need to get saying, in on I this. I stole your videographer no, for no, 30 seconds. No, no, sorry, seconds. absolutely not. She's not available. She's not available. <laughs> I stole her for 30 seconds <laughs> and she's She is incredible. going to create the most, I mean, how could, oh my good God. She's just incredible. <laughs> I can't. Incredible. She is. So, yeah, you're based in, you work in London, is Absolutely, that right? Yeah. Um, and now this girl yeah. flies. I fly her yeah. across the world. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, honestly, she's think. incredible. She is. So Honest, as I said, so 30 seconds with her and I came away beaming. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I wish Andy, you need to come teach my boyfriend. That's what you need to do. My I boyfriend wish. is the same. Is I'm he? so like yours. He hates I'm lucky like. if I get 10 seconds of a blurry video from Andy. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Thank you. I feel almost emotional seeing all of you today because each and every single one of you has been such an amazing part of my life, whether it's been advice, inspiration, whether you've just been an incredible woman in my life, whether you guys know it or not. Um, so cheers to all of you. It's so lovely to have you at home. And yeah. Cheers! even cope right now. Look at these two little bombshells. You make your soulmate an OD. OD. Don't, don't tell Desi and Bolly, but OD is just a... Oh my god, so, so sophisticated, gentle. So sophisticated, Obi. He's very noble. He's, very, so he's a lord. Noble. Did you know that? He's, he's Lord me. Odie von Lothenthal. We're also matching because me and Odie have both lost a nail on our foot. <laughs> so we oh, are so we are soul sisters. He's actually asleep right now. Oh, His eyes are closed. We've been putting the world to right, haven't we, darling? He's been telling me all gossip. I can't come. Now we're having a little snooze. A little snoozle. A little snoozles for Odie. Oh. Well, as you can see, I'm now back home looking a little less glamorous. I've literally just got in, shoved on my comfies, and yeah, I'm actually about to go and take my makeup off and go to bed. It's currently half past nine. I've actually got an early morning tomorrow because me and Flicker are out all day um, competing. We've got a one day event. So I, um, I'm not gonna babble for too long because as I said, I need some beauty sleep before tomorrow. But I honestly have had the loveliest day with the loveliest ladies. It's been so nice. Just oh, lovely setting. Like Leonora's home is just beautiful. Just unreal, amazing beautiful setting, beautiful drinks, food, people, 
it's just been a really really lovely day and yeah we've been having a proper girly giggle amongst everyone it's just yeah really really lovely lovely to meet some new people as well as see some old faces as well it's just been a great day i've had such a lovely time just before i head up and take all my makeup off i um was very kindly sent home with quite a large really lovely goodie bag so obviously i can't not show you what's in the goodie bag can i really now i have already um dealt with one of the things in here so <laughs> the first thing in my little goodie bag was um some really cute macarons and uh, i ate them so it's now just an empty box also got a lovely bottle of Lillette wine, which we were actually um, given a glass of this when we arrived and it was delicious. So I'm super happy to have a bottle for myself. I'm gonna pop that in the, in the wine fridge. And we've also got a lovely little bottle of Fever Tree. I love this skincare brand, 111 Skin. Some of my favorite face masks. I actually saw this in there first and when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I love their face masks. And this was at the bottom of the bag. The 111 Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. Do you know when that is going to be good for? Saturday, after the day after I finished competing. And by the way, guys, this is my plan. Tomorrow, I'm out competing all day. It's going to be early start, late finish. Saturday, I have literally planned to do absolutely nothing. I don't want to do anything. So I think I'm gonna have a really nice pamper. So I think this is gonna come in handy. And then this I've never tried. This is the 1-1 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Body Oil. I love a body oil. Oh, another little drink. This is Pret-a-Porter Organic and Pale Rosé. Oh, I do love a rosé. In the wine fridge she goes. <gasps> I could actually smell this in the bag as I was driving home and I was wondering what it was and it must have been this, a little Joe Loves candle and the fragrance is Seville. I don't even have to open that to smell it. Seville orange. Oh, God, honestly, when I was driving home, I couldn't quite pinpoint what the smell was. I just thought there was a really nice smell in the car. It must have been this candle. Even through the paper that it's wrapped in, I could smell it. Oh, wow, that is so, that is just so fresh. That's definitely, that's a kitchen candle. That's a kitchen candle. Oh, I've got a box from Nice Cream London, the jewellery brand. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, this really gorgeous little necklace. Look at this. How pretty is that? I'm gonna zoom you in. Hopefully you can see. Pretty little flower, that is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then from the brand, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I've pronounced this right. Colo, Colo. I think Colo is some collagen sachets. Lovely. What a lovely little goodie bag that is. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've been spoiled with all the lovely food and everything today. And then this. Lovely. Anyway, I am, as I said, I'm going to now head to bed because I have got an early morning. I've literally got to get up. I need to clean the saddle, clean, clean two saddles, clean my bridle, clean my boots bath flicker get her ready platter oh. <gasps> it's gonna be a busy and stressful day well i will admit it has been a couple of days oh i'm really sorry about that wind since i picked up the camera look at this lovely view i've got as you can probably tell i'm out on the gorgeous girl flicker but i just wanted to jump on and end keep going darling and end this vlog here um just to let you know that we had a fabulous, fabulous day um, on Friday competing. It was honestly just the best. She was just phenomenal, honestly. She was so, so good. It was 100% the hardest 
um, cross country track we have done um, together. And to think this is her first season of BE is just mind blowing because she's like an old pro going round. She's so brilliant. But I'm so pleased we actually finished in fourth. We went double clear. So I am over the moon with her. I couldn't ask for more for a top 10, not even top 10, top five finish. Absolutely buzzing. And I think at the moment the, um, the website hasn't been updated yet, but I, I think that means we have qualified now for the regional championships which is just oh god I could cry honestly I could cry but I don't I don't want to tempt fate just in case I've got something wrong and we haven't as I said nothing is official yet nothing it's not over till it's over as they say but I'm kind of eagerly anticipating waiting for them to uh, update their website and for me to get that email telling me we've qualified but I think we have I think we have so yeah, really great day, but as I said, I was only jumping on to end this vlog because I realised I hadn't, but I thought I'd just give you that little update as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog, guys. And as always, from me and Flicker, we're going to head home now. Not this, what are, you, what are you looking at? Oh, sometimes, sometimes she just likes to check out the view. You stop to have a little look at the view. <laughs> you are funny. Anyway, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. So... Bye-bye from me, Africa. Bye.